One hospital under investigation is in Phoenix. The president sent a top aide there today, and John Blackstone picks up that story. The White House Deputy Chief of Staff Rob Neighbor said nothing as he entered the troubled VA hospital in Phoenix today. An email from the hospital's acting director, Steve Young, told the staff, if you should have the opportunity to talk with Mr. Neighbors, I encourage you to be open and honest. That's why he is here. But some who work in the hospital say being open and honest leads to retaliation. Dr. Catherine Mitchell says she was moved out of the emergency room when she complained that it was understaffed and poorly run. In the 16 years that I've been there, every time someone speaks up for patient safety or concerns about patient care, they essentially are retaliated against. In an email to the acting director, Mitchell urged that neighbors meet privately with hospital workers. Most staff likely will refuse to speak openly in front of other administrators, she wrote, because of palpable fear of retaliation. He needs to speak to the employees who've been struggling ethically with these issues for years and are waiting for someone to come and listen to them. Judy Beischel, the American Legion's Arizona commander, spends time with veterans across the state and has heard many complaints about the Phoenix VA hospital. She's one of the members of veterans groups invited to meet the president's representative at the hospital today. The president says he's outraged. He's waiting for the results of investigations to come in. And so they're telling the veterans, wait, wait, wait. They've been waiting. I'm hearing more and more and more stories about issues with the administration and the scheduling and people being able to get taken care of, and it just isn't happening. Neighbors will report to the president on his visit here today. His findings are separate, Scott, from the investigation underway by the VA's own inspector general, who's looking into practices at 26 VA hospitals nationwide. John Blackstone, thank you, John.